It's WENY TV Sports Talk with Andy Malnoski, sponsored by Elite Therapy. Tonight's guest, Horsehead Girls basketball coach Andy Scott, and standout basketball player Amanda Seafit. Here is your host, Andy Malnoski. All right, welcome back. It's WEY TV Sports Talk right here for the next half hour. We're going to bring the chaos, raise the roof a little bit, bring a little bit of everything for you here tonight. Our special guest of the evening brought to you by Elite Therapy with two locations, Mansfield and Horseheads. Of course, it's the Horseheads basketball special right now. Horseheads head coach Andy Scott joins us and... Amanda Sheefin, New York State Player of the Year finalist and also a Kiwanis winner just recently here in the Twin Tiers. Well, tonight we're going to have a little bit of everything as we talked about. Thank you for joining us. Last month we talked to Elmira College and the women's hockey team making a huge rise to the NCAA finals. So we're going to have a little bit of that tonight as well. But certainly the months of March brought out some big time stuff. And here you go. Check out the big time moments of March right here right now we kick them off with the top five moments Ali Marpet from Hobart the only division three player to go to the NFL combine yeah that's some big time stuff he's slated to perhaps be drafted as high as the second round that is big time and this is too the horse says charity basketball event just last weekend and Support of ALS Research. That was a huge night. Nearly 2,500 fans showed up. $13,000 raised big time. And of course, this is to Cornell's Game Dean, 184 pound national champion for the Big Red. Won it last week in St. Louis. Huge, huge win for the red shirt sophomore. That is big time. And of course, this is to welcome back Dan Schwamm, the former Pioneers manager. He returns to the PGCBL as the coach of the new Victor team upstate. That is certainly big time. And so is this Ralph Sampson, Bernie Kosar. Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, and so much more. Of course, Bill Buckner going to be a part of the Hornell Sports Night, which raises a lot of money for local charities and sports groups. I'll be the MC for that event April 11th. Get your tickets around Hornell, of course, at Wegmans and many other places as well. That's going to be some big time stuff. Looking forward to that on April 11th. It's going to be huge. Of course, this is WY TV Sports Talk. Do not miss our special guest, Horsehead's coach Andy Scott. Been a long time coach since 1999, 2000. Even took the Lady Raiders to three consecutive now Section 4 Class AA championships. And of course, their standout player, Amanda Sheefit. She is on the show tonight as well. We're looking forward to a big time night. And, uh, you know, we mentioned Elmira College as well. We're talking about the EC women's hockey team, national champions a couple seasons ago. They made it back to that big game this year up at SUNY Plattsburgh. Our very own Jenna Cottrell had a chance to go up there and cover all that outstanding stuff up there. Take a look back on the season that was. Jenna, take it away. It's been quite a memorable season for Elmira College women's hockey. In fact, this story. It's certainly a long road and, you know, we, uh, we did a lot of great things over the course of the year to get us here. Led by the 2015 Player of the Year, Ashley Bryan was named All-American for her second time. Bryan totals over 42 assists, breaking EC's single season record and tying the NCAA's single season mark. I didn't know what this program was. It was my freshman year, we lost in the quarters of ECACs. So, once Coach Jackson came, he turned this program around. It's remarkable. Couldn't thank everyone enough for all the support and everything they've done for us. And you can add another All-American banner. Senior Ashton Hogan was named a first-team selection. Number 12 led the nation in scoring. Hogan ends her season with 32 goals in just 30 games. And their defense runs strong, too. Senior Brooke Wilgosh, for her second year, honored All-American. Well, gosh, recorded her 100th career point, making her the first defenseman in EC history to reach the milestone. The veteran leadership on this squad brought Elmira all the way to the national championship, but EC didn't win. You know, our team definitely uh, fought to the end and gave it everything we could. And I think this class has uh, accomplished uh, so much, I think. I think any more than a lot, you know, more than a lot of classes I think ever could in the course of their, their four years anywhere. So 
you know, it's a testament to their hard work, their commitment, and their love and passion for the program and, and, and the team. All right, thank you so much to Jenna, and thank you to Elmira College Women's Hockey. Of course, an amazing run. Out of that, too, Coach Dean Jackson earning numerous Coach of the Year honors, not only in the conference, but uh, around the nation as well. And uh, congrats to Ashley Ryan, the USCHO Player of the Year. She was named after that weekend as well. Huge, huge. She ends out her career as the second all-time points leader in school history over at Elmira College. Well, of course, this is WYTV Sports Talk. Andy Belnowski with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Big time show, as we mentioned, Horseheads head coach Andy Scott and also Amanda Sheafid, one of the New York State Player of the Year finalists on the show here tonight. And I uh, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, Elite Therapy, great sponsor, two locations, Mansfield and Horseheads. And look at this. I had to dig this out. This is from the old days. Gonna, let's get a zoom in on this if we can. Go ahead, zoom in. We can, we can zoom in on this. Look at that. Horseheads little legit coat from the old days. Oh, wait, we're in the light. There we go. We're back now. There we go. Zoom in a little bit closer. That's an old school coat from the 80s. Horsehead style. If I can get it unwrinkled here. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, that's money. That's money. But uh, Horseheads, this is from Pastrix back in the day uh, down there in Elmira Heights. That uh, They were giving these coats out when they uh, finally had to clear out some stock and stuff like that. Horseheads in the house tonight. We're looking forward to it. And, um, you know, we can't wait to have this show tonight. And uh, Andy Scott, little piece of information for you. Actually, my old English teacher from Horseheads Middle School going back to, let's see, circa 19... 97. Yeah, that's a long time ago. I'd probably a lot of people weren't even born <laughs> at that point. But uh, once again, thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to be right back here at WYTV Sports Talk. Don't go anywhere. Andy Scott joins us next right here on WNYTV Sports Talk. Hey, welcome back to WNYTV Sports Talk right here on WNYTV. We're our first guest of the night. Horseheads coach Andy Scott for the girls basketball team. Of course, uh, Horseheads, the place of uh, elite therapy, also down in Mansfield, our sponsor for tonight's show. Sco coach, good to see you. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, I know it's a blast. I, this is like long overdue. Let's be real. You know, I think it's been long overdue that uh, have you on this show. You yeah, know? this is going to be great. I appreciate you doing it, and uh, you do a great job for us, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks, Coach. And uh, I'm going to throw this out there right here, right now. My old English teacher from 1997, you know, 92 around that time I'm, I'm getting older you know yeah which means I'm getting older <laughs> but you look good though that's, yeah. that's number one but uh, coach great season uh, third consecutive class double-a championship this year just an amazing run by the ladies and and your coaching staff and everybody and uh, talk about this team and um, you know, how you guys are able to, to pull through and obviously come back and, and beat Binghamton yeah really impressive I mean we came out with a great start you know nine and oh and very impressive and uh, you know we went through we got some milestones Amanda Schieff got her thousandth point along the way and so that was really phenomenal but you know as time went on we faced a little adversity you know Binghamton beat us a couple mm -hmm. times and they beat us pretty good you know beat us by 23 points at their place then mm -hmm. beat us in the stack championship so for our girls to be able to come back and show the resiliency that they did uh, and come back and beat them in the arena it was 47 to 20 at one point with about three minutes to go I mean a 27 point swing added on to the 24 mm -hmm. a 51 point swing I was really impressed with Ooh. the way they played and uh, you know it just tells you a lot about their character and what they're made of you know so uh, a great group of kids great group of parents and you couldn't ask for a better uh, mm -hmm. a better finish to a to a phenomenal season yeah and uh, obviously you guys' first state win since 2002 uh, i graduated from horseheads then in 02 remember those ladies on that team you know holly cook sarah saronsky lauren collins just a lot of great players on that team and uh, what was that feeling like to finally okay get off that schneid you know for the first time in a while well it was really nice to, for the girls to get a regional win i told them it was about 12 years you know since we had gotten that so uh, mm -hmm. i think that was a little extra motivation too and to play right in our backyard at johnson city i think that helped us out too so uh, what a great win over Monroe Woodbury everybody contributed I thought it was a great team win and uh, you know got us to the next step to play Austin but like you said back in 2002 and in between we've had some chances that you know we've had some heartbreakers in between there and the here and there but you know hey you know we'll take the win and uh, you know we got to play Austin again and you know gave them our best shot you know so mm -hmm. I you know, like you said, you want to play the best, and uh, if you're going to win it, you know, you got to beat the best, and unfortunately, no one could beat them. So, but, yeah. hey, I'll tell you what, you know, three-time state champ, we ran into them three times, and 
sometimes timing's everything. Yeah, and I know that uh, got a couple of years ago, you know, Sonia Chung on that team. Not sure if she's related to Connie, but she's one heck of a basketball player. She's you know? decent, yeah. She went to UConn, right? So mm, yeah, uh, that people are like, well, she doesn't start there. I'm like, she's at UConn. Right? They, <laughs> they have, they've won like 900 national they're championships. I mean, you know, you know their top 12 is better than pretty much anybody in the country. So, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's what they do. They breed a lot of great players out there. They, uh, Coach Reese does a great job. And uh, hey, you know, that's, that's the way it is. But I, I couldn't be more proud of my team. Uh, I thought we got everything out that we could have got out of them. And, uh, you know, we were very pleased with what they did. Yeah, I think one of the, for me, what I take away from uh, the Andy Scott and the staff, the coaching experience there at Horsehead is what you do for the seniors on senior night. I mean, the whole booklet, uh, I actually, I go home and I read it. You know, I want to see what the girls' dreams are going to be and where they like to be in a few years. I think you don't see that very often from a lot of programs. Uh, how special was that night? Well, the seniors are special. You know, they put in six years of time. You know, almost every single kid has played for us in seventh grade. So, I mean, you, you should honor them. It's, it's sad it's only for a five-minute stint, you know, on one mm -hmm. night, but they should get that honor because they've put in so many countless hours that people don't see. They just get to see the games. They don't see the practices and the off-season work and the AAU basketball. So uh, really great uh, you know, that we want to try to commemorate them and give them as much as we can. And uh, likewise, the parents are fantastic. They have, we actually have a senior night committee. And uh, they go out and they do all these different things for the kids and make sure it's a, a night that they'll remember. And, uh, you know, the good news about senior night is you don't lose too many because the kids are pretty That's fired true. up and they're amped up and they want to win for the seniors. So, uh, you know, it was really it was just another special night for us this mm -hmm. year. And I know, of course, uh, one of our special guests right here on this show in a little bit, Amanda Sheefin, will get more into detail about her and, and her future. And, you know, what, what do you love most about coaching? Um, you know what? I, a lot of people say this too. Uh, you know, Coach Lemoncelli will say the same thing. His dad used to say the same thing. Coach Monk says the same. I love practices. You know, to be honest with you, I love the preparation. I love the challenge of trying to make sure that we are ready uh, to uh, be prepared for the next an upcoming opponent. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people are like, well, you know, games are exciting because that's what people see, and you know, that's when the lights go on. But what happens behind the scenes tells you a lot about what your team is and the teams that listen and the teams that work hard and they watch the video and they look at the scouting reports and then you go out and execute those things in practice and you prepare and you practice over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. To me, that's rewarding when the result at the end of the night when you play is a W for us. So, yeah. uh, you know, the practices are great. Kids are a little bit looser. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They have a little more fun, and I think that's great, too. So uh, I'm probably a little bit looser, you know, which is nice, <laughs> of too. Course. Because, absolutely, because I know I can not be the easiest guy to get along mm -hmm. with sometimes. But I'll tell you what, practices are a lot of fun for me. And, uh, you know, in a season, you get about 80 practices and 20 games. And, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, so you're, you're with the kids, you know, 80% of the time, though no one else is watching. And uh, they mm -hmm. do a great job. You know, they really do. So it's, it's, been, it's a lot of fun to watch them progress our, uh, throughout the year. Yeah, and obviously a fantastic job with senior night. And going back, you know, one of the fantastic things that we did back in the school days, you always talked about the outsiders, you know, the movie, the book. We got some video of the outsiders. We brought this out, you know, talking about a pony boy and things like that. I mean, look at that. This is, you guys are about ready to brawl uh, right now. But uh, yeah. I guess the significance of it, the two different groups, uh, and why I put this up here, really, other than a great fight, this is a good scene. Look at that. Oh. Good fights there. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, they don't. The socials are tough, but not not that tough. They are pretty tough. Yeah, greasers are but be, be, definitely better. <laughs> but it's blending, you know, different groups of people onto one team, bringing right. them all together. And I think that's one of the messages of that movie. Uh, no matter what social class you're from, and uh, I know we we, uh, we talk about horse heads and the success you guys have had. What's been the key to that sustained success? Uh, well, you know. Like you said, well, first from the outsiders. I mean, that you <laughs> did you pass that unit test? You know, I, think, I, I don't think I did. Okay, well, I think I'm just I, checking because I, I, I was looking at on that. I was looking know? at some of the old tests, so I'm not really sure. Too much sure. pony boy. Yeah, but nonetheless, yeah, I think, I'm sure you did very well. But uh, <laughs> uh, the key to the success for this program obviously comes from the kids that are in the program. You know what I mean? I mean, the bottom mm -hmm. line is you're not going to be successful without. Uh, you know, talented kids behind you. Mm -hmm. No coach can lead without eager followers. Some wise men said, man said that at one point. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's that's a tribute. If if each each kid every year wants to try to get a little bit better mm -hmm. and better and better, I mm -hmm. think that's something that uh, you know that's a that's that's a tribute to what they do as as kids. So, uh, you know, good for them. And you know, that that's really the. I mean, we work at it as coaches, but we don't put the mm -hmm. points on the board and we don't put the time in like they do. So. You know, all the kudos goes to the kids. Yeah, awesome stuff, Coach. And we got, we got some video here, too, as well. This was really awesome from October. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. That was really awesome. <laughs> this is actually unplanned. Well, my part was planned to go up there, get dunked in the ice for the kids and everything. But uh, we got some video. Go back and uh, the Andy Scott part, unplanned, on the fly. Check it out.
<laughs> that was money. I'm sorry I put you on the spot like that. Oh, that's okay. For a great, great cause, you know. So uh, we really appreciated the 5,000 people chanting my name. Yeah, so that was felt cool. like I was a rock for a minute there. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Well, plenty more with Andy Scott when we come back for commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We're brought to you by Elite Therapy. Come on back. Hey, welcome back to WNY TV Sports Talk, right here from the Old Ithaca Road Studios. We're kicking it old school right now. Andy Scott, Horsehead's girls basketball coach, nine-time Section 4 Class AA champs over there. And uh, thanks for, for joining us. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. You guys do a great job. Yeah, thanks, Andy. We appreciate it. And, you know, speaking of great jobs, um, one particular player this year uh, sort of, you know, didn't have the really the best way to start a season. Uh, actually didn't start it at all. She was out most of the season. Uh, Alyssa Schrock. Yeah, Alyssa had a uh, tough go of it, obviously. When she tri played out, uh, played AAU last year in, a, uh, I think it was early May, she ended up tearing her ACL. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was obviously, you know, trauma enough for a kid, obviously. We saw that with Marley and Nolan, you know, and having to go through that whole deal. And then uh, on top of that, having to travel to New York City usually twice a month to also get treatments yeah. and such, you know. And uh, she's been going through so many things, you know, with her dad passing away when she was 10 years old and so on and so forth. But the thing I like about Alyssa is that never did you hear her complain. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? There was not one day uh, where she would be down or anything like that. She was always happy. She was upbeat. And she's a very positive person. Mm -hmm. So very inspiring as far as I'm concerned because she has so many things that she could be complaining about and still mm -hmm. out there uh, giving it her all. And I'm going to be honest with you, you know, when she's back in the court next year, uh, better look out because that girl can shoot the yeah. ball. I mean, she had about 43s on JV, and uh, we were wow. really looking for her. So looking forward to uh, hopefully getting her back out in the quarter of senior season so she can end, uh, end with a bang. Yeah, us as well. We're looking forward to it. And uh, we got a special piece that we ran just about two weeks ago right here on WNY TV. Take a special look at Alyssa Schrock's journey and her battle for redemption. Really, when I'm on the court, I just leave all of the worries that I have at home. As time goes by, people fade away. Something Horseheads basketball's Alyssa Schrock has lived in 2008. At just 10, Alyssa lost her dad, Chuck, who died from Hodgkin's lymphoma. Losing your dad, but also losing my best friend. Like, he was really the only one there. It was really hard. She actually reminds me an awful lot of her father. Um, Chuck was like that. Like, despite how sick he was, he never complained, never. Tough times would strike Alyssa again. Just months after her dad died, she was diagnosed with juvenile scleroderma, a rare disease that attacks the kidneys and lungs. For six years, she's traveled everywhere for treatment. It's hard, you know, having to miss school and have to go down to New York City and poke and prod to that all the time. Her refuge, the game. But tragedy struck again. Alyssa tore her ACL out for the year. As Horseheads won the section title, Schrock watched on, but inspired all. Works hard. She comes in here, gives a great pep talks to the kids. But, you know, while you talk about quality individuals, when it's all said and done, games mean nothing, real life situations like her, that's what it's all about. Her character, she's so humble, you can't tell that she's been through so much. Everyone should take away how strong she is. Unable to play, her team gave her one special shot versus Elmira to stay strong. Having everyone, you know, hug me and They've been there for me the entire season. I think people can learn from it because she can show that like you can always be strong. She lost her season, her youth, her father. But like Dad, Alyssa doesn't complain. She just battles for her life. We hope someday they'll be able to put this in remission for her and we'll forget she ever even had it. I kind of want to follow my dad and my brother to Penn State and I just hope that's really awesome. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much to the Schrock family. Alyssa, stay strong. Nothing is impossible. And, Coach, thank you for letting us know that um, that, that story was cool. I wouldn't have known otherwise uh, without you letting us know. Yeah, no, she's, uh, she's well-deserved for that. And uh, like I said, I mean, that's a good motivational piece for anybody. You know, we appreciate what you have. Go out there and uh, take the bull by the horns and go enjoy yourself and, you know, to seize opportunities. So uh, I'm excited to see her back in the court next year for us. Yeah, no question, Coach. And uh, I'm excited for this next piece here. This is something we did a few years ago right here at WYTV Sports. And, you know, we went back to the vault. This is called In Focus Flashback. We dust off the, the WY time machine. It's, like, <laughs> it's actually not a time machine. It's actually like a 
DVD player with an old sticker on it. But yes. uh, it's still pretty cool. Uh, we got Andy Scott in Focus Flashback. This was aired originally in 2011, but uh, it's a timeless classic. Check it out. In Focus Flashback <laughs> with Horsehead's head coach, Andy Scott. It was a great game. It was back and forth. It was one point. We had a shot to tie it up at the end, and you know, obviously, just just missed it. And one of the best atmospheres I've ever been a part of. And you know, as a coach, it was incredible. And like you said, one of the best teams I've ever had. After you put so much uh, emphasis on one game, maybe you have a little bit of a letdown. Since then, that group has really set the tone for Horseheads basketball ever since. And, uh, you know, I always reflect back with a lot of teams as we go into the sectional time that, you know, this, this is what this team did. You know, everyone has a shot, and it's just about being in the right place at the right time. We just go out there and, you know, give 100% every day, and we really appreciate everything that we have and, you know, all the, all the great people that we've come across. And, you know, we've had great relationships with everybody. And I like preparing uh, every day for practice. Uh, I like the, you know, the challenge of obviously you know, getting, getting our kids to get the most out of the potential. But when you work year round with the kids and you see them progress, I think this year we're gonna rely more on um, all five starters. We have a very deep bench once again. As they grow up and, and just watching that transform, it's been it's been awesome. And the relationships that you know we form with the kids and their parents and, and the whole thing. We have a nice basketball family here. This is Horsehead's coach Andy Scott in focus. <laughs> now that was straight up money right there. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. But 2002, I, I think it looked the same. Yeah, with well, you know? a few exceptions, but yeah, not too bad. So, you know, a lot of gray hairs, you know what I mean? Hey, so. me too. Look at coming in now, man. Yeah, well, so. you know, dealing with the guys like you in class, you know what I mean? What am I, I going to do? So I'm I glad. Know. Hey, you've done a great job, though. You've done good or great for yourself. So yeah. I want to make it official right here, right now, live and in living color through that video scope, is that I apologize for all the years of havoc that I caused in school. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, it was great stuff, though. I'll tell you, your class, you brought me in, and uh, hey, we're still rolling strong. 20 years later, so it's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Well, thank, thank you. you for joining us. Andy Scott, Horsehead, girls basketball coach. Always a pleasure. Come on back, though. Plenty more to go. Amanda Schiefen joins us next on WY TV Sports Talk. WNY TV Sports Talk brought to you by Elite Therapy, which is, of course is in Mansfield and Horseheads. In our Horseheads basketball show, Amanda Schiefen joining us right now, New York State Player of the Year finalist throughout the entire state, and of course, you know, one of the captains and leaders of the Horseheads Lady Raiders for God, five years you're playing the varsity team. It's God, I mean, that's, this goes fast. It does. You know, but thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. And um, I know that uh, this year's team, I mean, won a third straight Section 4 Class AA title, won a game in states, uh, obviously ran into Ossing again, but uh, just reflect on this year and, and your senior campaign. Uh, yeah, this was definitely one of our best years, I think. Uh, we were really close as a team, and we had a lot of really good players. And as soon as one of us came off the court, another one came back in, we lost nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was like one of those cool yeah. sequences that would happen. It kind of worked out, mm -hmm. um, you know, for you guys. But uh, now, moving on for you, your career taking off, going to Canisius next uh, in college uh, after so many great accomplishments here, uh, 1,000 points, you know, Allstate, uh, even, uh, you know, Rick Mount shooting camp, yeah. which we went there. Oh, yeah. The perfect jump shot is what he used to say, mm -hmm. you know. Actually, he still says it. Yeah. <laughs> what am I thinking? He still says perfect jump shot. But... Uh, you know, that next step, how excited are you and, uh, to take your talents to that next level? I'm very excited to go to Canisius next year and see what college is all about and playing at that next level, and I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that uh, Canisius being in New York, too, did that factor in for it for you, like being close to home? Uh, as we see some video of you right now scoring some highlights from last year's. Oh, we last second there, too. <laughs> but uh, did that factor into it for you? Uh, yeah, at first I was all about going down south, going down somewhere where it's warm, like as far away from my family mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. But then I realized, like, I'm going to be playing basketball. Like, I want my family there at all my games. I want to be able to come home, like, for holidays because I don't really get that much off time. And mm -hmm. that was definitely a factor of being kind of close. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned your family. Mm -hmm. You know, got to say, <laughs> your mom and dad, just awesome awesome people and uh anytime we see them at the games they had the the face oh, things yeah. you know which i wish we had one of those by the way oh. you know right around here but yeah. uh you know that support must mean a lot to you um I, certainly a lot of us are very lucky to have you know both parents in our lives you mm -hmm. know to this day 
But um, talk about that. I know your dad was originally on the Notre Dame state championship yes. team in the late 70s. Yeah, he always brings that up, make sure I, <laughs> I know he's a state champ. Um, but yeah, my parents and are very supportive, and I also have a supportive sister and brother who, honestly, my brother helped me decide kind of where I should go to college. Uh, he mm -hmm. like gave me some advice, and then like playing along with my sister is great, and then my parents are always there. They just, my mom's a little... You know, but she's she she. All loves moms could oh, be yeah. that way. You know, my mom's the best. You know, she uh, she loves Facebook, all that oh, kind of yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Shout out to moms out Shout there. Out, yeah. I love the Facebook and the social media. I think it's great. But um, now, the one other thing I want to ask you, I mean, right now, probably a little downtime. Uh, you won Kiwanis Player of the Year as mm -hmm. well. Um, you know, just some great stuff for you. And um, what is it that for you that drives you? That says, you know, I want to be the best I can be, no matter what's in front of me. Um, just. Being like, I love being on a team, and like they inspire me to like get better because I'm I like I'm a competitor, but I also like to have fun and just kind of like my teammates definitely bring that out of me in a good way, and just being the like being the best that I can be is something mm. I strive for. Yeah, I knew it. So as we all do, you just strive for excellence every single day and 24/7. Uh, yeah, 24/7. <laughs> you know, but uh, one other thing I want to ask you, Amanda, is um, you know, now that basketball is done with the high school seed. Uh, what's going on now? I mean, what, what, uh, what to spend some time doing uh, things? Nothing. Yeah. I, I actually, well, I go to the gym after school because I don't. I just kind of want to get myself prepared for college. But other shopping, than, yeah, shopping, shop, cool shopping on the weekends. No. <laughs> it's just weird coming home after school. It's like, what do I do? Mm. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> yeah. I know, but uh, y we all get to that point. Certainly, uh, I wrestled for a number of years, and, and when that day came, it's like, ah. Oh, not going to practice today. Yeah. Now what? You know, do I uh, eat gummy worms? What do I do? <laughs> I don't know. But um, you know, we actually to finish out tonight. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you. You know, you and Coach Scott are just you know fantastic, and uh, one of our you know shows to have you guys on is just makes it awesome. So we actually got a uh, a little challenge to throw out to you guys. Oh, no. Myself and Jenna Cottrell uh, taking on Andy Scott and uh, Amanda Sheafed. We got a basketball hoop set up over here in the Boy. corner. Uh, thanks to Dick Sporting Goods right there. <laughs> Actually, I paid for it, but sorry. <laughs> but um, we're going to try to, it's like a mini hoop with a little uh, breakaway rim, so we might have a dunk on there. But oh, there it is. So we're going to unhook the mics here, and we're going to come by, and we're going to try to get this done. Um, and uh, we're going to make it happen. So we're going to come into the shot, and uh, we're going to throw it down. Coach Scott's over here. Actually, see us over here? Here we go. All right, we're in the shot now. We're back over here. We're kicking it old school. Here's the rim, and Jenna's got the ball. All right, so best of five, uh, we'll see who wins. All right, done deal? <laughs> done deal, so I'll take two, and then we'll go from there. So, all right, here we go. Unbutton the coat, unbutton the coat. Here we go, one. Oh, there it is, I got one, I got one. That's got one, that's one right there. I got one, all right. All right, here we go, let's try two, let's try two. Here we go. Ah, oh, I missed the second, all right. Who's up, who's up? Amanda's up. All right, here we go. <laughs> Give it a whirl. Ah, oh, there's the one. One more. Come on, come on. You can do it. Let's do it. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that's the ball. All right, Coach Scott, go ahead. All right, here we go. This is gonna be impressive. This is WY TV Sports Talk right here. Oh, one of those rims at the carnivals. I don't think you're supposed to. It is a carnival rim. There it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was just a practice. Ah, oh, it's all right. Over. So, it's all right, it's all right. This, this can't happen. I can't win. Jenna, oh, there we go. Jenna, good right, luck. I got one. Go. Jenna. You guys had 10 hours to hang out. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Let's see. Oh, Jenna. So, wow. Automatic. So, <laughs> ladies, the ladies always win. So, Jenna wins, and then Amanda wins. So, <laughs> you guys win. So, we have, come on over here, get back in the shot. Here we go. This is the camera right here. This has been WY TV Sports Talk. Andy Scott, Amanda Sheefin, Jenna Cottrell, dynamite hitting both shots right there. <laughs> so, but uh, join us next month. Plenty more to come from WY TV Sports. Thank you guys again. Thank you. Thank you. I guess the last thing we should do is maybe just put our hands in like a team or something. All right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Team on three. One, One two, two, three, team. Three. We're out. Take it easy.